What's up, DCS crew? Uh, so I want to make a bit of a confession. Um, I met uh, the folks from Todd Knife and Tool, you know, some time ago at Blade Show. I want to say it was either 2018 or 2019. <clears throat> I thought they had really cool knives, had a very industrial-esque look to them. But to be completely honest with everything that was going on and all the different new knives that were around, I never really got to, uh, to try one out, you know, firsthand. Um, I know that they had really good success with uh, the Shodan, which is this guy right here. And for those wondering, uh, this particular model number is model BT1910A. And, you know, it was a great knife, but I mean, I was, you know, there was a bunch of other stuff that was out and, you know, it, it really didn't hit my radar. Now, looks like I got a second chance because I have this version of Todd Knife and Tools newest design. And uh, this particular one is uh, known as model number BT2005A. And guys, I got to tell you, this one is badass. Uh, this is the exploit from Best Tech Knives. We're going to go ahead and take an in-depth look at this compared to its uh, cousin, the Shodan, and see if there are any differences that are worth noting. And, uh, well, just uh, see what we can find out a little bit more about um, this particular offering new from Best Tech Knives. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so on your left, we have the exploit and on your right, we have the showdown. Now, um, this is my opinion on the exploit as opposed to the showdown. Um, I'm kind of glad that uh, they ended up coming out with uh, the exploit. Um, you know, when I originally saw the showdown, one of the things that I thought was, you know, it's a beautiful knife, but it's a little big for the kind of knife that I particularly like to carry. Um, I'm not really big on, you know, full size knives. And plus, the truth is, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, the showdown itself weighs at about five ounces. Okay, but you're getting uh, like a little bit over 8.6 inches overall in length. You're getting, you know, uh, what 3.8 inches of or almost 3.9 inches of usable blade length. Um, you know, and you got you've got a lot to handle. I mean, the handle itself works well, and then you can also kind of like close up using this uh, finger tool right here. Uh, it's got some really good jimping up here. The fuller actually, you know, uh, melds into the lines of the mill titanium that's stone washed with the satin flats here. Uh, excuse me the uh, slat, satin grind and the stonewash flats. And I mean, it's really cool. It's really uh, forward thinking. And I mean, you know, with Cyberpunk 27, 2077 out, this would definitely be a Cyberpunk knife. If it was my choice, I'd probably carry this. This would be my EDC for Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, this is a big bad dude and it does make an impression. Now, um, with the exploit, Okay, and this is something that I just kind of want to show um, in this particular case. The uh, the exploit is a little bit smaller. Um, the oh, let me go ahead and try this again. There we go. Um, the blade itself, ugh, and there's a bunch of gunk on it. Where the heck is my? I'll just use this. There we go. All right, so the blade is a little bit smaller. It's it's a little bit more my speed. Uh, we're talking about uh, three and a half inches. Okay, it's a three and a half inch blade. And uh, overall, I want to say that the size is just over eight inches. So it says uh, 8.2 inches. Okay. Um, you do have the stonewashed titanium uh, handle. And on the pivot collar, you do see that both of them have the Todd Knife and Tool insignia, which is really cool. Okay. Um, you have the Best Tech logo. S35BN is the steel uh, satin grind, stonewashed flats actually no excuse me satin flats but what they've done is they 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 actually um they're like abstract angles so you'll have this one that goes up this one that goes up this is kind of flat but it's a little bit more subdued than the actual grind itself and then you have the grind uh and it's all satin and then what the what they've done is the inside they've blasted the fuller and it actually goes the fuller back into the lines of the titanium which again just like the shodan there's actually you know there's not as much uh activity on this one as it does as it looks on this you know you got the three holes we got some more scallops here you got the lanyard placement here on this one you have basically just some some lines you know and etching into the titanium and then you have the three uh, holes 
Um, and on the other side, you do have the holes. And again, it's just not as much activity. It's a little bit more subdued than the Shodan is. And I like that because the truth is, you know, while the Shodan is really, it's, it's definitely a looker, um, you know, and I'm sure it's a great performer, but I, I feel like the uh, the exploit lends itself a little bit more to be, you know, like, okay, look at me. Yeah, I'm a looker, but I can perform as well. Uh, I think that this is a, a much more approachable knife than the Shodan. But again, this is just me. Now, um, it is under five ounces, but not by much. Um, the last I checked, uh, when I was checking the websites for the actual, uh, for the weight of this knife, it's uh, 4.94 ounces. So it's teetering just under five ounces. Uh, it's still, you know, quite a bit. It's a big baby, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, it's, it's not exactly uh, five ounces. So uh, I'm glad that it is at least in that realm. Uh, you know, that, that little difference may be, you know, uh, the, the, the guiding factor with some people saying, eh, I don't feel like buying it. It's a little bit heavy or, oh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. And aside from that, it's not a flipper like the Shodan. It's actually a front flipper, but it does have these uh, speed holes. So if you choose, you can go ahead and flick it open that way. Okay. Or you can just, there we go. You can just go ahead and use the front flipper right there. Now, the really cool thing that I noticed about this knife, actually, let me just go ahead and do this real quick. Get all this gunk off. All right, there we go. All right. Um, one thing I noticed about this is that it, uh, on this particular knife, the Shodan, um, it has the jimping here in the back and it gives you some really, really nice jimping. Okay, you can hold that and I mean, it just keeps your finger in place. Now, with the exploit, it actually has the same jimping. Uh, it's a little bit closer together and I think it's a little bit more aggressive. Being that the stock has been tapered a little bit, uh, it's been tapered twice, once by the fuller and once a little bit more towards the jimping. As you can see here, the stock itself does look visibly, uh, you know, a little bit uh, thinner than the Shodan. But aside from the jimping that's here, because of the fact that it has that front flipper, okay, there's uh, some more aggressive jimping here on the top and then a little bit of space. And then it goes into some uh, smaller jimping that's very nice and tactile. So once it's open, you can actually hold it like this and you have all of this jimping that actually helps, you know, kind of curve up. As you can see, this is a natural curve. Your hand holds it here. And then when you actually lay your thumb here, kind of that, that curve goes with the natural progression of your thumb. And it's really nice because you can hold it this way, okay? Or you can get a little bit closer and apply some pressure over here to the, uh, just the, the, the very apex of this jimping that's right here. And as it curves up, it's gonna give you a really, really good tactile feel for some kind of poking tasks, you know, nice uh, reinforced tasks like this. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really badass knife for a lot of different tasks. Um, and it is a usable uh, choil. As you can see right here, it does have enough for you to be able to place your finger on. And then there is this ledge right here that allows you to be able to go ahead and keep your finger in this area without getting cut. But the relief is not cut out as much as on the Shodan. Okay, as you can see the Shodan, it's quite a bit it's cut out quite a bit for you to be able to go ahead and use that finger troll. And on this one, the finger troll is there, but it, I kind of feel like they want you to use this a bit more in this manner. And if you needed to, you could choke up and kind of use it very similar to the Shodan in that manner. Um, for me, honestly, one of the things I was actually really surprised about is uh, the use of the pocket clip. And it's, it's not your average pocket clip and it may throw some people off. As you can see, this is the original Shodan, uh, the pocket clip. It has kind of like this diagonal placement right here, and it is only tapped for uh, right-hand carry. As you can see on both models here, let me go ahead and do it that way. It's a little bit easier for you to see, okay? And then what they've done is, on this one, uh, it's diagonally cut, so it's nice and flush with the, uh, the back spacer that's here, okay? And then they have like, it, it cuts in, and instead of just having just a, a straight down, uh, pocket clip, what they do is they put a scallop here, they put a scallop here, and it runs down. And this particular one is nestled right in between the uh, the liner, the, I'm sorry, the frame lock and the actual frame itself, okay? But it actually does not impede any issues with flicking the knife, okay? 
And as you noticed, they have that, that kind of look. It has the scallops in it. A lot of milling of the titanium here. Okay, just like the rest of the knife, there's a lot of titanium milling here. Guys, I can't stress out this enough how much of an issue this can create for OEM machines. And Vestec does do o its own OEM. They don't, um, you know, go to other companies to, to make their knives. Uh, there's a lot of companies that do that and they don't really talk about it. But Vestec is one of the companies that they do their own knives and they are commissioned by other companies uh, via non-disclosure agreements to go ahead and work on their knives. So as you can see that the, the milling on this one and the milling on this one as well, okay, just everywhere, very, very, very nice. But the uh, the pocket clip, I did want to go ahead and show that. Um, the pocket clip for the exploit, it is similar, but it's different. Now, in the sense that you have the two scallops on the left for the Shodan, one on the top, one towards the middle. And then you have the exploit where there's one at the very, very top, as you can see, it would be like basically like right here. Okay. And then another one right here. And then it just kind of goes straight down. You do have the, uh, the milling on the titanium. And I mean, these work extremely well. I, I gotta tell you, I am really, really feeling these. And um, they do have an over travel stop on uh, the uh, the exploit, which they do not have on the Shodan, okay? And you, as you can see, the holes to be able to go ahead and uh, disassemble the knife, you see one here on, on the, uh, the Shodan, and then there's the pocket clip, two on this side, and then obviously, the pivot, that's for the showdown. Now, for the exploit, okay, you have three on the, the, the show side. You have the pivot collar, and you have these two right here on the frame lock side, and then you have the two for the pocket clip to go ahead and open it. Now, with the, uh, the exploit, you can always just finger flick it if you choose not to go ahead and use the front flipper. I am not the most prodigious front flipper, I've had a couple, I've had quite a few actually, but this is a brand new knife and that's the reason why the, the action is a little bit stiff because it is it is tuned in very nicely. As you can see, it's nice and centered. Um, there is no play at all, okay? No vertical, no horizontal. The, um, the lockup on this, let me go ahead and just open it normally. There we go. Lockup on this right here. As you can see, it's very nice. Let me see if there's any skeletonizing that's been done. Okay, it does look like there's been uh, some skeletonization on the uh, show side for the exploit. And for the show done, let me go ahead and look at the lockup here. Let's do it one more time. There we go. And here is the lockup. Also very nice. And there is some skeletonization inside of the show side for the showdown. Okay, now, um, put this one right next to the showdown so you can actually see the full length uh, next to each other. Okay, obviously this would be the slightly bigger uh, cousin, I guess you could say. They're more like, uh, you know, cousins than uh, brothers. Uh, there are some subtle differences. They are, they are very similar, but, you know, they do have their own, the, the more you look at it, you see Little things that are, are very different, the different pocket clip, uh, you know, the, the, the over travel stop, um, the, the takedown me mechanism, I'm sorry, the takedown method would be a little bit different. Um, the milling is different on both and, you know, the finger toils, the difference, uh, the blade is very, very reminiscent to each other. Um, you have a slightly larger uh, thumb hole to be able to access a, just, a, I guess, a secondary method of opening it as opposed to the thumb hole here that's almost flush with the fuller. It's not, it's a little bit larger than a fuller, but you can you can actually see that. Okay, they do both have the fuller, but I feel that um, with the jimping on this one, it's a, there's a bit more jimping to assist you when you are opening and you are actually holding the knife as opposed to the Shodan because of the fact that it is a flipper knife and it's not a front flipper. Um, and, uh, so yeah, that, that, I mean, these are a couple of things that I kind of noticed between the two knives. So let me go ahead and compare a couple of other knives with them and then kind of give you my final thoughts. So first and foremost, I'm going to go with what's in, in my pocket. That's the, uh, Spyderco Pair 3. As you can see, it's, <laughs> it's a little guy compared to these two. All right. Uh, we're going to go with the Dylan Mallory designed CJRB Centros. So that's a little bit more their style. I guess you can say that. It's, uh, it's more along the lines of the exploit as far as size is concerned. Not as big as the Shodan, okay? 
Uh, let's see here, what else do we have? Uh, this is the Protec SBR, a recent winner of the Knife Fights against the Kershaw Launch 11. Great knife from Les George and Protec. And last but not least, let's go ahead and throw in the Kershaw Bare Knuckle in 20 CV steel. Okay, as you can see, that's pretty much about the size that I would want for EDC, and that's why I feel like I gravitated a little bit more towards the exploit than the uh, the showdown itself. Okay, let me go ahead and take this back, give you my final thoughts. Now, um, Best Tech has some really badass knives. Like I said before, uh, they do their own uh, production and they do OEM work for other companies. Now, Todd Knife and Tool could have easily uh, opened their own company, you know, Todd Knife and Tool, and just done you know, their own line of knives and never would have said any any shape or form that uh, Best Tech had anything to do with them. But the truth is their relationship with Best Tech allows them to be able to go ahead and be very specific with regards to the knives and how they want to go ahead and design them. Uh, they have a lot of input in the designs with Best Tech. They've, uh, they've dealt with them for quite some time, as you can see. The, you know, the Shodan is, um, you know, was a very good hit with them. Uh, very distinct type of folder from their titanium line, the BT line. And uh, they felt it was time to come out with something a little bit more, a little bit, I guess you could say a 2.0, similar but different. And I think that this one is a more EDC friendly model. Uh, this is probably about as large as I would want to go. Uh, as heavy as I would want to go with a knife. And I actually like it a lot. I really highly recommend it. If you happen to see one around and uh, you have the opportunity to go ahead and pick one up and check it out, guys, I implore you to do so because this is actually a really, really badass knife. And again, I mean, I can't speak highly enough that, uh, you know, with uh, Todd Knife and Tool and Best Tech's uh, tooling on these particular knives, the design and, the you know, just the production on these two, particularly of the... Uh, of the exploit is really really badass and for this particular version um this is the stone wash with the satin blade they do have different variants of both models you can go ahead and check them out uh, i think knife center actually has them out right now um, and for this particular version it's a bt 2005a um, uh, for the exploit now for the shodan if you choose to go ahead and pick up this one if you know for whatever reason you choose to get something that's a little bit bigger than the exploit um you can look for this particular variant and it's bt 1910a huge thanks to best tech knives for allowing me to go ahead and check out both of these um <laughs> i'm gonna be honest it's the first time i was able to go ahead and really handle the exploit a bit uh, i was able to go ahead and handle the the uh, showdown at, at uh, blade show but um you know being that i mean when you're at blade show it's like you know you're a kid at a candy store and if you had all the money in the world you'd buy all the knives but i didn't have all of that <laughs> so i came out with just a few things and this was not one of them unfortunately didn't make the cut but now that um his cousin's around i may actually go ahead and pick up one of these so Huge thanks to Best Tech. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and leave your comment below. Which one do you like, actually? Do you like the, the exploit or do you like the showdown? Please let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, if you'd like to see any, uh, you know, any, any comparisons with these two against any of the other knives that I've had on the channel so far. And just remember, guys, whether it's the showdown or the exploit, if you EDC, think of DCS. Guys, you've been great. I will see you all next time. And just remember, you take care, have a happy holiday, and thank you so much for watching the channel. I'll see you next time. Peace.